Broken Shaker's been voted best hotel bar. Cocktails include garden herbs and spices, fresh pressed produce, and exotic ingredients from around the world. Joining us now is bartender Luke Nevin Gattle, making a cocktail using Abervelde Scotch. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Hey, pleasure is all mine. Thank this you. This comes for in. Me on this the is show. a fancy package. That must mean this is a fancy scotch. Oh, it's one of my favorites. Absolutely, oh. a fantastic Highland scotch. What makes for a good scotch? So, whew, I mean, that depends on who you ask. Personally, I'm asking you. Oh well, look at that. <laughs> uh, I really like Aberfeldy personally because I really enjoy scotches that work well with cocktails okay. myself. And a 12-year age works beautifully in this cocktail we have here. Right. It's the Highland region is known for a lot more of like that kind of fruit spice kind of characteristic which lends perfectly for a cocktail like we're going to be presenting today for its nice right. tropical notes all right so what do, what do we have we have a lot of juices and oh some yeah mint over there yeah we got some fresh mints we got some edible flowers some pansies freshly squeezed grapefruit right. juice lime juice some local honey from the hive supply well let me know how I can help out I'm your I'm your sous bartender there you go. oh you're my bar back today I'm your bar back today <laughs> I'll clean up I'll clean up absolutely <laughs> Yeah, so what I like to do is I like to start with a nice raw honey. And like okay. I said, this one is from our friends over at the Hive Supply. Mm -hmm. You could go to the store, you could be getting some honey that, you know, comes from... It's and it's old too sometimes. It can it's be, definitely, there. for sure. You just go to the farmer's market. Exactly. A bunch of them yeah, that's town, the best. And almost every one of them has some sort of local honey. Oh, yeah, and that's the best to get. So this, this, isn't, be this processed isn't just honey. Have you watered this down? It looks very. I have. So I took thin. a little bit of water and used okay. my refractometer to give it the same sugar consistency that a simple syrup has. So it's not going to ball up and because it's just going to even us, it out. Just take your fractometer, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. You'll be able to yeah, fractometer you know, your honey just mm -hmm. like Luke. Very casual. You All can right. just do a 2.5 two parts honey to one part right. water at home. That works just So we have well. some honey in this. <laughs> what do we have next? Some freshly lime squeezed juice. lime juice. Okay. This is about six hours old. Six hours old. Yeah, you typically don't want to use lime juice that's going to be older than two or three days, for instance. Okay, so it's going to turn otherwise. Exactly. And you don't All want right. to buy any of like that store-bought stuff. Fresh is always going okay. to be best. So we have lime, and then yep. we have oh, grapefruit. Some grapefruit, okay. one of my personal favorites here. You like that sourness, the bitterness oh, to it? I love it. And this is a fantastic take on a classic cocktail from the okay. 1930s that's a riff on a whiskey sour. All right. It's called a brown derby, but we're doing our own little shaker spin on it, created by Christine Weissman of Bar Lab. Okay. Tell me about Broken Shaker. Uh, Broken Shaker has been around for about 10 years now. It actually got started as a 30-day pop-up, and the industry and like consumers loved it so much they just decided, you know, let's keep, keep this going. Around. And we got four locations throughout the country so now. That is the nice thing about a pop-up. You, you always have the option. Exactly. So, yeah, the original was in Miami. We have Chicago here, of course, down in River North. Mm -hmm. We have Los Angeles, which I just visited, beautiful location, right. as well as New York City. We have some bitters. Oh, yeah, what this is, is this? Martini and Rossi's Bitter. It's going to be like one of those ones you typically find that's going to be like you'll find in like Negroni variations. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like the bitter orange saffron profile. We have a Negroni fan in the household. I know all about it. All I right. I don't like bitter, though. I just, you know, I'm just not a bitter kind of guy. Not a bitter kind of guy? Nah. Are you a coffee drinker? Joe, sure, yeah. Well, you might like bitter then. Right, well, we'll try it. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to stand by with the ice. There we go. Because we're almost there. Exactly. So now we got our good friend Aberfeldy 12 year okay. here. This works fantastically for this cocktail for those honeyed notes because of the longer fermentation process. Okay. Lauren, you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> She's been chopping at the bit because, you know, they don't get to do this Monday through Friday. No, we don't get any <laughs> There is a food and alcohol Monday. prohibition. So it we just do this? Yep, just faster. toss it right on oh, in yeah. here. Right there down the line. See? You got it. Look at you, Sean. Boom. I might, you know, I might have to hire you for the yeah. weekend. <laughs> you can do this. All right, let's tell the folks at home how they can find you. More information, uh, Broken Shaker Chicago. You can visit broken.com, brokenshaker.com, and <laughs> at Broken Shaker on social media. There we go. Oh, and you have that fancy little stirrer thing. Yeah, swizzling this cocktail All right, here. sounds good. All right, Luke, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Hey, the pleasure's all mine. All right, bottoms up.